Hello, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a multi output device in Cubius. It probably works in a very similar way in other DAWs, but you'll probably need to reference a guide or the manual just to see if there's any specific differences. But by default, when you create a VST instrument, in this case, it's Stephen Slate Audio SSD5, you get a stereo output on your mixer. What this means is that you can apply bus processing on basically the summed stereo output of all the kit pieces. And where multi output devices come in handy is if you want to be able to process each piece of the kit separately. So by default, I've got some sort of a bus compressor, a bit of saturation and a bit of an EVQ and a little bit of reverb. It doesn't really offer much flexibility. So if I go up here to the virtual instrument panel on the right, and then this little downward facing triangle is where it comes up input output options. Click on that and then activate outputs. From here, you have a selection of 16 stereo outputs, including the main stereo output. And then you've got 16 mono outputs as well. So if I take 10 of these, you can see as I'm selecting them, they're appearing on the track here, labeled. And then if I open up SSD5, and then from here, if I leave the kick on channel one, and then if I put the snare on output two, And then if I go over here to overheads, I put three, SLR, I put four, M overheads, I put five, M room, I put six, overheads, I put seven, room, I put eight, room B, I put nine, and then I'll go back and I'll put the FX, output on output 10. So what that should do now is if I solo all of these tracks, oh, SSD5 should now be outputting on all of these tracks. So what this means is that I can go through and apply whatever processing I want to any of these tracks. So there, I've got my kick. So basically once you've got these sorted, you'll want to go through and label them so that they correspond to what they are in the actual SSD mixer. So I'll reference them here. I put three is overheads. I put four is SLR. I put five is M overheads. I put six is M room. I put seven is overheads. I put eight is room. I put nine is room B. And I put 10 is drum FX. So as a general rule, it's a good idea to reference those so that you know exactly what you've got here. So yeah, basically I can go through and apply whatever processing I want 
the, every one of these individual tracks gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of the mix. So in my experience with drum software like SSD5 or BFD3, setting up a multi-output device is the same in both. It's, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Unfortunately, with contact, it's not. And I will do another video just sort of going through the process of how to set up a multi-output device in contact. But it's much more complicated than it actually needs to be. And I'm hopeful that at some point, uh, Native Instruments will update contact so that it is a lot more straightforward. But yeah, hopefully you find this video helpful. And I shall be back with another video soon. Cheers.